Recently, many parents have shared online scenes of their children being driven crazy by new textbooks. Some have torn their books apart, while others have left their parents exasperated. Amidst this outcry, the story of a one-armed boy named Ben Yu Yu caught my attention. Not only did he overcome his physical disability, but he also broke a Guinness World Record. We can't help but ask if a fourth grade student without any interest was forced by their parents to travel over a hundred kilometers weekly to a training base for four to six hours each time, engaging in ball games and physical training, wouldn't they be driven crazy? The answer is undoubtedly yes. So why did Ben Yu Yu, a young student with a disability, stand out? Confucius gave us the answer 2,000 years ago. Those who enjoy learning surpass those who merely know. The biggest failure of current education is turning children into rote learners. Regardless of whether children are interested or not, parents and teachers force feed them a vast amount of so-called useful knowledge for exams. Due to the explosion of information, children have to tackle numerous test papers sacrificing their rest, sleep and playtime, ultimately becoming exam machines. Consequently, many students suffer from depression and some even resort to illegal drugs at school to relieve academic pressure. Some parents, while tutoring their children, pour their anger and expectations onto them, resulting in some girls choosing to end their lives while boys vent their dissatisfaction and hatred in online groups. The advent of artificial intelligence is a reminder that if we persist in our misguided ways and refuse to awaken, we are doomed to fail in the intellectual competition with machines. The real solution lies in leveraging our unique human advantages, love, interest and talent. Only in a loving environment can human intelligence emerge, creating products greater than AI, achieving the miracle of zero greater than one. As Laozi said, all things arise from being and being arises from non-being. The prerequisite is that children need to be cared for first, not coerced and suppressed. Some schools attempt to toughen students' bodies and wills through military training and exposure to the elements, turning them into slaves who dare not help their fainting companions. Instead, we should restore traditional Chinese martial arts and health education to improve children's health. Only in this way can our children, on the foundation of physical and mental well-being, pursue their interests and talents, truly realizing their self-worth. The story of the one-armed boy, Ben Yu Yu, teaches us that interest and love are crucial for children's growth. We should provide children with more understanding and support, allowing them to discover their interests and talents in a free and loving environment, becoming their best selves. Only then can we truly achieve the goal of education, enabling every child to shine on the stage of life.